Welcome back to Trade and Training Academy Bangalore. In our earlier video, we have explained the working principle of automatic transmission and torque converter by using the working model. Today, we have developed a sectional working model of CVT, that is continuously variable transmission. In this video, we are going to explain the working principle of CVT. Manual transmission has different fixed gear ratios and driver has to select the gear based on the requirement. In automatic transmission, various gear ratios can be obtained by planetary gear set which is controlled by automatic transmission control module. Whereas in CVT, Infinity gear ratios can be obtained by changing the diameter of drive and driven pulleys which is controlled by transmission control module. Let us understand the operating principle of drive and driven pulleys. CVT consists of two conical pulleys and a steel bed. It has two parts, fixed cone and movable cone. Let us understand how movable cone of the pulley operates. The movement of the movable cone of the pulley is controlled with the hydraulic pressure which is supplied through hollow shaft from the oil pump. According to the driving conditions, TCM will adjust the width between the cone by adjusting the hydraulic pressure and controls the vehicle speed. Let us identify the components of CVT transmission. This is torque converter, first reduction gear, drive pulley, steel belt, driven pulley, sub transmission, second reduction gear and differential. The torque converter is connected to the engine. Its function is same like a automatic transmission torque converter. So drive from the engine comes to the torque converter. From torque converter drive goes to the first reduction gear. From first reduction gear drive goes to the drive pulley. From drive pulley drive goes to the driven pulley with the help of steel belt. From driven pulley drive goes to the sub transmission. Sub transmission consists of two planetary gear sets. It is used to get two forward speed, neutral position and reverse gear. From sub transmission drive goes to the second reduction gear. From second reduction gear drive goes to the differential. From differential drive goes to the wheels with the help of drive shaft. Let us see the internal components of sub transmission. Sub transmission consists of two planetary gear sets connected each other. It is used to get the two forward speed, reverse gear and neutral position. To control it, we use two brakes and one clutch, namely UD brake, reverse brake and direct clutch. UD brake gets connected over here, reverse brake is connected to this component and direct clutch is connected over here. In this transmission, location of clutches and brakes are shown here. In P position, any clutch or brake will not engage. In reverse position, reverse brake engages. In neutral position, any clutch or brake will not engage. In D position, there are two speeds, 
in first speed ud brake engages in second speed direct clutch engages let us understand how hydraulic pressure is supplied to clutches brakes drive and driven pulley torque converter transmits the torque to the transmission and drives the oil pump the pump creates pressure which is applied to the valve body the hydraulic pressure is then routed to the clutches brakes drive and driven pulley in accordance with the activation of solenoid valves solenoid valves are controlled by transmission control module tcm to control the solenoid valves tcm needs following inputs In this working model torque converter is driven with the help of electric motor instead of engine and pneumatic pressure is given to control clutches brakes and drive and driven pulleys let me demonstrate the operation of cvt in different shift driven position here speed of drive pulley driven pulley and output speed can be viewed in the display of tachometer motor drives the drive pulley at around 55 to 65 rpm but the driven pulley and output speed will vary depending on the pulley ratio and planetary gear set of sub transmission now the shift lever is in p position in p position any clutch or brake will not engage therefore drive from the driven pulley will not go to the differential and wheels let me select reverse gear in reverse gear drive pulley width is more and driven pulley width is less so speed reduction will take place wheels rotate in reverse direction as reverse brake is engaged in the planetary gear set of sub transmission it can be observed that output speed is less it is around 5 rpm now i will select neutral position in neutral position also any clutch or brake will not engage therefore drive from the driven pulley will not go to the differential and wheels let us select d position in d position initially drive pulley width is more and driven pulley width is less so speed reduction will takes place to increase the torque further ud brake is engaged in the planetary gear set of sub transmission during the initial movement of the vehicle therefore wheels rotates at low speed at around 3 rpm when driver presses the accelerator based on the input from engine rpm throttle position sensor and vehicle speed tcm controls the pressure to the drive and driven pulleys and increases the vehicle speed tcm disengages the ud brake and engages the direct clutch in the sub transmission when the direct clutch engages there will not be any speed reduction in the sub transmission as direct clutch maintains 1 is to 1 gear ratio in sub transmission it can be observed that increase in driven pulley speed and output speed due to the change in the width of the drive and driven pulleys
when the vehicle speed has to be reduced or torque increase is required TCM changes the pressure to the drive and driven pulleys so width of drive pulley increases and driven pulley reduces therefore vehicle speed also reduces This is how we can get the infinity gear ratios from the CVT. I hope this video is easy to understand the major components and working principle of CVT. Thank you.